AI series and within this video we'll be enhancing our assistant one step further. So up till now what we have done is like uh, uh, we started from text, uh, from text inquiries and we would post our inquiries to our assistant and they would respond us back within text. Uh, in the previous video, we actually enhanced our program a bit further where it could leverage the text-to-speech feature offered by OpenAI. And now our assistant can talk back to us, but we cannot talk to them. So within this video, we'll be enabling that feature by using the speech-to-text uh, functionality offered by OpenAI. So um, what we really want to do is whenever we speak we need our assistant to understand that and we need to transcribe our speech into text and then we need to pass that text to our assistant so these are like two steps so let's see what uh, the speech to text functionality has to offer so as stated here we have the audio API provides two speech to text endpoints, transcriptions and translations. Uh, we're not interested in translation, so we're gonna stick to transcription. So um, it uses the Whisper model uh, according to the Dev Day conference and their announcement. Uh, they're enhancing the Whisper model to V3, but uh, for some reason, uh, the API still uses the uh, Whisper One model, but it's still great. So we have uh, one bit of snippet here. Uh, we create a client. We have, or we open the audio file over here, and we pass our audio file within the transcription method, which uses the Whisper One model. So this is all great and. Uh, it would actually return you the transcribed text but in our case we are like in an endless loop with our assistant and obviously we have to figure out a way because we cannot we cannot create files uh, so we have to find like uh, like an intermediate way where uh, you know we can leverage uh, this functionality as much as we can within our code so I have the code ready so uh, this one's a new file, uh, Whisper Speaking Assistant. That's what I called it. So just gonna, uh, you know, help you guys navigate through the code first. You guys know the drill by now. So we have like our basic stuff over here, OpenAI libraries, PyDub, uh, .env, uh, iOS for some file creating features. Obviously we will have to create a file because the um, speech to text feature expects a file so we need to create it and we have to figure out a way so that you know it it sort of fits into the equation of our code so yeah uh, one important detail is like I'm using the speech recognition library because it's it's kind of very rich library in terms of you know when you're uh, dealing with uh, mp3 or wav files or you want a functionality like detecting a microphone or speaking through a microphone uh, so uh, this particular project has quite a community around it so i'm using speech recognition 3.10 and it has quite a lot of you know uh, utilities within it and it offers a whole bunch of you know recognition engines which also includes the whisper api um, it has a whole lot others as well. The default one that it uses is Google speak recognition uh, But for now, uh, we're going with whisper API and uh, If you're interested you can go through a few set of examples over here as well um, It uh, for example uh, We have recognized speech input from microphone. Obviously we need this feature Transcribe an audio file. We'll see if we'll use this functionality because we already have one from the OpenAI itself. Uh, so yeah, that's what my import states over here. Uh, nothing fancy here. I'm fetching up my keys, uh, hooking up my keys. Uh, okay, yeah, so this one's important because here I'm actually uh, preparing my model. Preparing my 
model basically if you're using it for the first time it would download it i think it's like around 130 mb i'm using the base model uh, for this uh, it has a lot of more categories and uh, the data set actually increases if you go with you know a larger database and uh, over here i'm creating a recognizer for my uh, speech recognition library uh, same old stuff i'm uh, this has my uh, completed status i'm fetching up my thread id assistant id uh, assistant wise i changed it to onyx because i got bored from shimmer and assistant voice model i'm using tds1 also in the last video i forgot to tell you that uh, we have this particular option of using tds1 hd uh, which is actually even better than tds1 uh, because you can just like when we talk uh, you might have you might have noticed that sometimes we take pauses and we take like these deep breaths like like this uh, and we take pauses and uh, you can hear that breathing aspect which actually creates um, you know the perception of realism so I think it uh, the HD version has that you really feel like you know it's an actual human talking to you so it's pretty great uh, we have the same old methods i haven't really uh, added a new one um, besides the last one which happens to be the transcription it's the same code uh, from my speech to text uh, co code snippet right here so what i'm doing here i'm create i'm opening a speech uh, wave audio file which i'll be creating somewhere in my while loop to actually uh you know uh, the the plan is that what whatever i speak that needs to be saved in a wave file and that wave file uh, needs to be read uh within this transcription uh method so i create this one method i restrict this method to english language uh it uses whisper one model and it just returns me the transcription text over here, I just added this uh, one bit of detail. This is something that will be improving in the future, but for now, I've just added it uh, just for the sake of simplicity. So this is the only new piece of code that I've added. Uh, also, if you guys uh, are interested in the code, I'll be posting uh, a code sandbox link uh, within my description with every video. So it's easier for you guys to navigate through that code as we evolve our assistant. So uh, in case uh, you're lost somewhere in the video or you need the actual code, you can just, you know, uh, click within the uh, description and fetch out the code from there. You can either replicate the code within your local machine or you can, you know, add some environment variables within the code sandbox. Uh, all the details are in readme. You guys can thank me later. Okay, uh, so let's talk about this particular code snippet that we have added. So what this does, it adds a step point uh, where you're actually uh, using your microphone as a source. Uh, we're printing listening over here and I'm adding a source pause threshold. So this threshold is about when to not listen. Uh, it's, it's like... A, it's like an attribute that speech recognition library uses that whenever there's a pause of like 0.5 seconds, uh, cut that thread and fetch the audio and return it to the user. That's what uh, pause threshold actually specifies. So over here, uh, I'm using the recognizer library to actually listen through my source with no timeout, but you can add timeout for like two or three seconds, but I uh, I don't need it for now. It, it works for me without it. So uh, once I've, I have the audio, I create a speech.wav file. And uh, over here, it has already been created, but this is like an old example. So I'm just going to delete it. And I write my audio contents to that particular file. And that particular file later on, transcribes my text, sorry, a voice to text. Um, the later on stuff is, you know, the same. I haven't changed any of it. I hope so. 
yeah yeah i haven't changed it so all i have here is my text and i'm printing the text over here so that's all for the review let's see this bad boy in action so i'm gonna type in python whisper speaking assistant.py and i'm gonna turn on my audio so you can listen this clearly uh hey customer how can i help you okay uh so i'm gonna talk in let's talk so that it can enter the uh, mode where it's listening through my microphone uh do you have any bags cool so it recognized it it's cute in progress and anytime now perfect yes we have a hiking backpack available which is suitable for traveling listed under the travel category source perfect let's try something else uh let's talk i know this is annoying and we have to do it with every step whenever i need to talk but we'll actually be improving this in the future videos um do you have any graphic tablets that i can buy Perfect. Yes, we have a graphic designer's tablet available under the electronics category 19 source. Cool. Uh, let's talk again. What's the size of the graphic uh, designer's tablet that you have available? Okay, in progress, completed. The graphic designer's tablet is available in a medium size 20 source. Perfect, uh, so we can interact with our assistant through voice and our assistant can talk back to us. I know there are a few things that can be improved and we will be improving those things in the future. Uh, one video at a time, one step at a time. So if you have any questions, please post them in the comment section and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.